everybody, so welcome back to my channel. I'm going to apologise yet again for the really bad lighting because it's probably really bad, but today, this is today's video. So this is Sunday, the 29th of November's video because this is very festive. It's literally what I'm going to do with my evening tonight and sorting out when I come home from school this week. Christmas decorations for my bedroom so I wanted to do an unboxing Christmas decorations video because it's very festive and I did promise to try and do some more festive videos as I don't have any decorations or anything to make the video any more festive so I'm just going to tell you what they are and where I'm going to put them and yeah so I've got two um oh I've got two delivery boxes full that we store them in and yeah so I'm going to get on first thing I'm going to start with is my 10 metal tree lights um my grandma treated these to me yesterday when we went to Clandon Park they were 7 99 they're 10 metal trees um lights I'm just going to get them out to show you because they're so cool and I absolutely love them just look at that obviously they've got the light there and then that shines through and they're battery operated which is handy so I don't have to plug them in anywhere which makes it easier for me to put them somewhere. I'm going to twine them because on my bed, I'm just like trying to put these in without breaking them. Um, because I've got a metal like head to my bed, I'm going to twine them around on the metal head. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. And I really recommend you going to Clard Clard Clandon, Clandon Park Garden Centre to look at their Christmas decorations because they're awesome. And I do love those, so Grandma does maybe watch my video. I might show this to her, so thank you so much, Grandma, for those. And then the rest of them are either what I... Most, most of them my Grandma has bought me. Um, I've got these four glass angels from Poundland. These are Poundland decorations. Most of them were smashed up and broken. I'm not going to lie, but these were the only decent ones. We I got these last year, and I absolutely love them. And I completely forgot I had them. So I'm just literally taking things out of the box and reconciling my love for them. So I've got those. These will go on either my dressing table, decorated there, or they will go on my bedside cabinet, which is where my iPad is sitting on currently, or they will go on my bookcase. But Four glass angel decorations for decorative purposes only, store out of reach of children. So, yeah. And it says keep away from heat, so my radiator is nice and warm, so I'm going to put them as far away from that as possible. I've then got, most of, some of this is, most of it's from Poundland in this box. I've got this little present thing with a lovely pretty gold bow. And look at this, wait, wait a minute. Ah! In that pretty? Especially at night anyway. It's very pretty. And it's got one of those circular batteries. This will either go on where my DVD player is, by my TV, or by my TV. It will go, either go on my bookcase or my dressing table. I'm not completely sure where some of these things are going to go. But I do love this. And this was also from Poundland. Also, I do totally recommend you go checking out their Christmas decorations. I'm going to do that next weekend. So, no doubt there will be a Christmas decorations Poundland haul and stuff because I'm just awesome like that and I promise festive videos so I'm keeping my promise while spending money on decorations that you only use once a year I guess but they make my room look special so I don't care anyway I've got these two fiber optic trees that are also battery operated so you plop the batteries in this little box and they light up with these I don't know whether I could, that little thing no lights up and they change color I believe these are going to go on my bookcase, I think. I think they're going to go on my bookcase. Because they look very nice with my lovely books that I never read anymore. Um, smart one. I've then got... The rest of the th these things are snow globes. And my grandma did buy those trees for me as well. My grandma last year when we went to Clandon Park, we got quite a few decorations for her home and my home and my bedroom. She got me this little Santa snow globe. You can't really see his face because the snow's clouding around him, but he does live in the North Pole. And I absolutely love this, it's so dinky and cute. It'll either go on my dressing table, on my bedside cabinet, or my bookshelf, but my bookcase. I just I just love it, it's so cute. You can sort of see his face going, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. So, 
I do love that. And then I've got two more snow globes. One of them I bought myself. It's quite a cheapy one, but it's still it's still quite nice. It's from Card Factory, so it's only 99p. It's got Santa in, and it says, have a jolly Christmas. So I'm a bit obsessed with snow globes, period. But Christmas ones are just my life. I live for Christmas snow globes. I understand how sad that may sound, but I do because they're so pretty. But I do love snow globes, period. Um, I just love them. So this is what we either go on my bookcase or my dressing table or wherever I decide to put it. In my future videos that are festive, I will let you know where I put specific things that I did, didn't know when I filmed this video. So you will all know because I might. Comment down below if you want a room tour. I don't know whether I will do one, but I just want to know whether you would want to see a room tour. Um, moving on. I've then got this little snow globe. I think it's like a reindeer without antlers. Classic. Um, holding a Christmas tree. Just looking very jolly and I just love this sort of like as if it's like wrapped up. I love it. This will probably go on my bedside cabinet. I'm pretty sure. So I love that. And then I've got more. I do have more. I've then got this beautiful thing. It's like this three dimensional snowflake. And this was from M&S once again. My grandma bought it for me. Look at that. Can you see the beautiful colours? It changes colours. It's once again got one of those, I think it's either circular battery operated or normal size battery operated. This is from m and I'm pretty sure they'll have them out this year as well. If not, they do normally do some sort of decoration like this. So that is very, very nice. Now this is a very dated one, but I love it because it's just a classic that always goes in my room. Oh my God, it's another snow globe. Who would have guessed? This one is from 2008. Oh no, 2008. This is Winnie the Pooh and Tigger classic snow globe for Christmas. Tigger's being a bit naughty and wrapping Winnie the Pooh up as a present. And oh my god, my reflection looks so creepy. I'm sorry you had to see that. No, but I absolutely love this so, so much and I cannot wait to put it up. This normally goes on my bookcase because it's quite, it's a very heavy one. I believe when the Disney store used to be in the Friary Shopping Centre, which I'm really angry that they got rid of ages ago. Like, why couldn't you, if there was one shop, original shop we had there, that had to stay and was not allowed to go, why couldn't it be in the Disney store? As you might have guessed, I'm a big kid at heart. Anyway, moving on. This is quite weighty, so I don't want it on anywhere where it can either fall off and my bookcase is the best place for it. And then last of all is one of my favourites, because this was also from Clandon Park, but it was from the gift shop in the actual house. And as you all probably know, unfortunately, it caught fire. The house, I can't remember when. You should all know when it happened. But it, the house caught fire, and it's really sad. So everything went with the house when it went up in flames, as it were. And they lost 300 years worth of war history and just history which is sad um but luckily there were no injuries no anything like that and i don't know why i'm rambling on about a fire and a, in a christmas video huh but the point is my grandma got this for me a couple of years back i think this is if i get it out of the box Ugh. it gets personalized you get it but it says dear santa please stop here and then <laughs> don't know if this is true or not Lily has been good. Don't know whether that's true. Let me know in the comments if you think I've been a good girl and deserve Santa's presents. Oh my god, I'm just getting so excited with it all. Because this morning, because this is going to be uploaded in the evening, me and my mum put the tree up and I'm going to put a picture of it on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you're following me, or if you're friends with me on Facebook, or you're following me on Instagram, make sure you check that out. So this is what it looks like when it's all set up. I don't know whether I've been good this year. This always either goes on my bookcase or on my dressing table. Because my dressing table, which is much less the drawers, has now become where all my makeup is, I will probably put this on my bookcase. Because my chest of drawers wasn't... Oh, it fell. It wasn't always like that. So I just want to say at 9 minutes 12 seconds, that is my Christmas decorations unboxing video. I know some people have loads, some people have hardly any, but you've got to bear in mind this is just for my room and next weekend I will be buying some more decorations. So, oops, my wages and my allowance spent on Christmas decks. Ho, 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 ho. No, I won't spend all of it on Christmas decks because I know the perfect shops to go to, Poundland, Card Factory, Primark just some other nice places so if I do get enough 
then I will do a haul, a Christmas, um, a Christmas haul. So I, oh, I really hope you enjoy this video, guys. Please like and subscribe and get me to 80 subs and a 80 subs and beyond because I have reached 70. So thank you so much, guys. I cannot express how happy that made me feel when I saw that. Um, so yeah, there is a singing video and a um, what do you call it? Makeup tour on its way. Let me find my phone. Oh, I forgot a decoration. Right, I've got like this place in the corner of my room where I can hang things up. And look, it's a Santa wind chime with a bell, a snowman, a teddy, and a present on. That's just that's just awesome, isn't it? In there, that's awesome. So yeah, sorry, forgot about that one. Oops. Um. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So there will be a makeup tour and a singing video coming your way. Please get my Adele cover to 110 likes and beyond. I know I've got like 150 something I believe on my first singing video. But let's try and get these to tri triple figures. Come on guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you on Wednesday. I love you all lots like jelly tops. And I will see you very soon. Bye. Hope you're feeling festive, festive, festive. Hope you're feeling festive. Along with Santa Claus.